China's J-20 stealth fighter program has been under increased scrutiny following claims in late July 2025 that the aircraft flew undetected through the Tsushima Strait. According to Chinese state broadcaster CCTV and later reports by South China Morning Post, the J-20, operated by the elite 1st Fighter Brigade, allegedly conducted a patrol mission through the Tsushima Strait, Bashi Channel, and around Taiwan without being detected by any regional military forces. The narrative presented emphasizes the aircraft's stealth capabilities and the PLAAF's operational confidence in contested zones. However, the lack of any third-party confirmation raises critical questions regarding both the technical validity of these claims and the motivations behind their public release. The Tsushima Strait is a highly strategic and closely monitored airspace. It connects the East China Sea with the Sea of Japan and lies between the Japanese islands of Kyushu and Honshu and the Korean Peninsula. This region is under constant surveillance from a dense network of advanced radars operated by Japan, South Korea, and the United States. These include over-the-horizon systems, maritime surveillance radars, airborne early warning aircraft such as Japan's E-767 and the U.S. E-3 Sentry, and the U.S. Todd Missile Defense System. All these assets contribute to a layered air defense and early warning grid that is considered among the most advanced in the world. Despite this, there has been no radar confirmation, photographic evidence, or public statement from any of these regional militaries acknowledging the alleged flight. Japan's Ministry of Defense regularly publishes reports on foreign aircraft operating near its airspace, especially when fighter jets are scrambled in response. No such notification was issued during the time period in question. South Korea's Ministry of National Defense has likewise remained silent, and the U.S. Indo-Pacific Command has not commented. This silence could indicate either that the flight did not occur in the way described, that it was not considered provocative, or that the event was logged but not publicized for strategic reasons. From a technical perspective, the J-20 was designed to fulfill long-range interception and air superiority missions with an emphasis on stealth and sensor fusion. Its primary design features include a chiseled nose, diverterless supersonic intakes, internal weapons bays, and radar-absorbing materials. However, its canard configuration, forward control surfaces, and engine nozzles have long been considered potential weaknesses in terms of radar signature. These design elements are generally not used on U.S. stealth fighters like the F-22 or F-35 due to their impact on rear aspect stealth, though they may improve maneuverability. In recent years, the Chinese aerospace industry has worked to address these concerns. Notably, the introduction of the WS-15 engine marks a major milestone in the J-20's development. This engine reportedly allows the aircraft to supercruise, sustain supersonic flight without afterburners, increases thrust-to-weight ratio, and potentially offers thrust vectoring capabilities for improved agility. If widely deployed, the WS-15 would make the J-20 a more competitive peer to other fifth-generation fighters, not just in speed and acceleration but also in its ability to evade detection through improved thermal and radar management. The latest reports suggest that aircraft fitted with the WS-15 have begun limited testing and may be entering service in small numbers. This development coincides with production ramp-ups across the J-20 program. By the middle of 2025, open-source defense tracking and estimates from defense-focused think tanks suggest that the number of operational J-20s ranges between 270 and 300. Annual production now appears to exceed 100 units, with a possible goal of fielding more than 400 aircraft within the next two years. A significant development is the rollout of the two-seat variant, known as the J-20S. This model retains most of the J-20A's outer design but adds a second seat and expands mission flexibility. The second crew member can act as a mission systems operator, enabling advanced operations like electronic warfare, sensor fusion management, or coordination with autonomous drones. This aligns with modern air combat doctrine, where stealth aircraft are expected not only to engage enemy aircraft directly but also to serve as battle management platforms in complex environments. The J-20S is believed to be entering frontline service this year, with test airframes already painted in low-visibility gray camouflage and assigned serial numbers tied to active air brigades. While the operational tempo and capabilities of the J-20 are increasing, Many analysts remain cautious about claims that the aircraft can routinely fly undetected through areas saturated with high-end radar coverage. Stealth is not a binary attribute, rather, it is a function of multiple variables, including radar cross-section, infrared signature, electronic emissions, altitude, angle of approach, and atmospheric conditions. 
Stealth aircraft are designed to reduce detection range, not make them completely invisible. Even the most advanced stealth platforms can be detected under certain conditions, especially by low-frequency radars or advanced passive detection networks. It's also important to consider that strategic messaging may play a role in how these J-20 missions are presented to the public. Chinese state media serves both a domestic and international function. Domestically, showcasing the J-20 operating beyond Chinese borders without opposition reinforces narratives of national strength, technological progress, and deterrence. Internationally, such stories may be intended to shape perceptions of China's reach and influence, especially among neighboring states. However, without independent corroboration, these reports remain unverifiable. Additionally, it is possible that the aircraft operated in a way that deliberately minimized detection, flying at specific altitudes, avoiding radar beams, limiting emissions, and operating outside national airspace. In such scenarios, even a stealth aircraft might not be formally tracked or intercepted if it is not perceived as violating any country's sovereignty or posing an immediate threat. This kind of gray zone operation would serve the dual purpose of demonstrating capability while avoiding escalation. At the same time, there is a counter possibility that the aircraft was detected, but no public response was issued for strategic or political reasons. Governments sometimes choose not to reveal what their sensors can detect, in order to protect intelligence gathering methods or avoid unnecessary provocation. This would mean that the J-20's presence may not have gone unnoticed, but rather that it was deemed unimportant or strategically preferable to keep the detection confidential. While the J-20 is clearly a growing force within the Chinese military's modernization efforts, with expanding production, evolving variants, and improving engine technology, the specific claim of it flying undetected through the Tsushima Strait remains unverified. Its stealth characteristics are real, though likely not absolute, and its growing numbers indicate a long-term investment in next-generation air combat capabilities. However, the most recent claims should be interpreted with caution until independent verification becomes available. Whether this represents a true breakthrough in stealth performance or a well-calculated piece of strategic messaging remains to be determined.